Hey, what's going on guys? It's Atari here and welcome back to another Clash Royale video and today we're back with a very interesting deck and that is a solely spawner deck. That's right, spawners are basically like the only sort of kill card in this deck. Um, now, first off, uh, I did not make this deck. Um, it was actually created by one of the best players in Asia, TMD Aaron. Um, yeah, he's a very good player, and at uh, first this deck didn't look that good, but uh, it actually like beats a lot of matchups. As you can see here, uh, you think it'll struggle against Mega Knight, but it actually does really well against a Mega Knight. Uh, it even beats Golem, Golem uh, beats this weird thingy right here, uh, this is a bait deck, and it even beats three Musketeers. Now, it is quite weak to bait as well as the Executioner, so those are pretty much the only two archetypes that you will struggle the most using this deck, but uh, yeah, without further ado, guys, we are 11 and 2 in a classic challenge, and let's see if we can get ourselves to that 12th win. Alright, so this 12th battle will be against Slasher from the Clan Alpha. A male and uh, again with spawner decks you want to start off by placing the first building three tiles from the river that way there's no way that they can hog push it and there's no way that they can push battle ram push it or whatever you guys call it uh, so really what this deck comes down to is spell cycling uh, a lot of the damage that I'll do to the arena tower is actually damage from spells and uh, so here, obviously, you, you have three spells in this deck, so you do want to use your spells quite often. Here, let's get a knight down. I know that the hog won't bypass that spawner, so I can place my knight right in the middle to buy, uh, to uh, intercept that hog rider. So there's that shutdown. It looks like we're going to be against uh, the P.E.K.K.A. Hog Lightning deck. Uh, so this deck... Eh, it's okay against it, uh, but when you're against a hog rider, I would usually recommend playing your spawners three tiles from the river that way. Uh, it's just the easiest. <laughs> Don't really know how else to explain it. So here, let's go ahead, get another spawner down. Uh, you do want to stack up your spawners with this deck. Unfortunately, he does have lightning, so uh, I'm not sure if you can reach both spawners with that. If it if it can, uh, that's that's my bad. That's totally my mistake. Um, so here, let's go ahead, get a nice light, uh, get some bats down, followed up by zap, to zap out the bats, and there we go, that's his push shut down, uh, not even gonna touch our tower, and uh, we have several troops here for a nice counter push, uh, so let's get a nice poison here, uh, it's gonna take out the goblins, he's gonna log right there, and uh, we're already starting to get some chip away, now this deck is really nice in double elixir time in that it can like just stack up buildings so quickly so uh here as we get into double elixir time let's get ourselves another barbarian hut down we have brought his tower down to about 1700 hit points so yeah let's go ahead and try and defend this push right here so here obviously uh, we have those bats those bats should not be a problem here he gets a lightning Eh, not the best value, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get some minions down, uh, followed up by an ice wizard, and then we're gonna put another spawner down. He probably has doesn't have lightning in cycle, so that's gonna be super good for us. Let's get a poison down, and the uh, guys, we got uh, we got four barbarians charging into that uh, tower right there. Let's go ahead and get another goblin hut down, and the uh, guys, this is this is already looking really good. We got 15 seconds left going into overtime uh, okay it gets a nice lightning uh, right there but let's go ahead and get that down uh, followed up by let's see let's get another hut and uh, let's follow that up with a let's see let's get a lightning spell down we're gonna have to start getting those big boy spells out and uh, all right look at that five barbarians charging towards the arena tower one of them locks on gets a few shots that's how we do it bring the tower down to under 1000 hit points showing you guys how this deck works now okay for some reason he okay yeah, i misplayed that unfortunately he was not able to hog push that but doesn't matter our tower has a ton of health and uh, here, as we have a counter push here, let's get a lightning ready for that. Okay, it looks like a P.E.K.K.A. So uh, I should have just used a poison there. 
Uh, but anyways, that tower is down to 620 hit points, guys. We're on our way to spell cycling this guy out. So, uh, yeah, looking really good. Let's go ahead and zap out those bats. And uh, let's get another spawner down ready for that hog rider at any time. Uh, let's actually just split minions. Get a barbarian hut because he's got a hog rider coming in. And, uh, all right, that should be his push shut down. And uh, we got a nice, we're going to have a nice counter push right here with the knight in the front. Lightning onto the electro wizard, catches the ice golem as well, guys. And poison down, followed up by a zap. Oh, actually, that will take the tower right there. Let's go, guys. This deck is so good, especially when it comes down to spell cycling because spawners have very good defensive capabilities. And there you go, guys. That is the 12 win with this spawner deck. Let's go, guys. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into these chest openings. So let's open up this chest in three, two, one, and boom, there we go. Chest has been opened, 2,000 gold, 12 elite barbarians, 30 minions, 47 goblins, 10 furnaces, and one bowler. And uh, not, not the best chest in the world, but let's go ahead, open up a crown chest. Uh, 626 gold, 2 gems, 6 spear goblins, 8 inferno towers, 6 7 bats, and 1 lightning spell. Pretty good. Then we have this 10 out of 10 clan chest. Let's see what we can get out of this chest. And we get 16, 20 gold, 10 arrows, 2 dark goblins, 20 minion hordes, 97 fire spirits, 113 cannons, 25 barbarian huts, and 3 giant skeletons. That's actually a pretty good chest in my opinion because I do use a lot of those cards. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and talk about my uploading schedule right now. Um, obviously, my uploading schedule has been quite inconsistent. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'm going to try and uh, get at least a video up every other day. That makes it a lot easier than the pressure of uploading daily videos. And I can also put a lot more time into making our videos better. So from now on, I'm probably just going to do every other day upload so yeah hope you guys are fine with that but anyways guys that is all i have time for in today's video if you enjoyed please leave a like down below as well as a subscription to my channel and as always this has been legend array and i'm signing off see you guys next time what are you waiting for? subscribe to my channel sub sub subscribe to my channel and leave a like subscribe to my channel sub sub subscribe to my channel